Hey guys, good morning. I'm happy you are here. I'm Rinske Dauna and this is my art channel. And this is my art studio. I kind of made it look like a sort of art store because I'm missing the art store so much. But okay, today is going to be a special video again. The last time I did the do and don't challenge with Sarah Mack and we both challenged other artists. So Sarah challenged Karen from Waterfall Acrylics and I challenged Messy Art Studios. Their video will be up today, so go ahead and check that out. But they challenged me back as well. So that's going to be a lot of fun. And also after this video, I will challenge again another artist. So they gave me three do's and three don'ts for today. Thank you, Messy Art. Here are my do's and don'ts. Do make a rect ring pour. Do uh, use a 16 inch or bigger canvas. Well, I have a 16 inch panel, so that's gonna work out great. And do use five or more colors. Then for my don'ts, don't use negative space. Yeah, that's a good one, because I always use negative space. Don't use green and don't just rack the ring pour once. So I need to rack it multiple times. Can't wait to get started. And of course, after this video, I'll call out another artist. And don't forget to check out Sarah, Karen's and Messy Art Studios videos as well for the Do's and Don't Challenge. Here we go. Okay, guys, so the Do and Don't Challenge with Messy Art Studios. I have here my colors. I have yellow, magenta, some pearl, um, violet, violet, Prussian blue and white. So I need to do a wrecked ring pour. I can't wreck it just once, multiple times and it needs to be a 16 inch or bigger canvas. So this is a 16 inch round and I put it on a different spinner because the other one was a bit crooked. Um, yeah, I can't use negative space, can't use green. I am using yellow and blue, so it might be that it makes green, but I'm not using green here. And yeah, I need to do more than five colors, so that's covered. I think we got it all here. I'm gonna um, fill my cup and let's see how this will work out. And we go with the Prussian blue. some more no I'm not used to this at all um, gonna be fun I might fail a couple of times so this is the pearl violet uh, I'm putting that on the dark color because then it will shine probably so magenta uh, let's go with some yellow here and let's yeah let's go with it again white I'm just gonna use the same direction of colors here and I think when I fill this cup it must be enough paint but I think <laughs> what I think is very tough on this uh, challenge is I can't use negative space. I would love to use negative space for a wrecked ring pour. Okay, we're almost there. I think just one round. I hope these colors work. Somehow, because I couldn't use green, I only wanted to use green. You know, it's... Uh, it works that way in your head. If you can't do anything, you want to do it. But yeah, okay. Could be that this is way too much paint. I have no clue. I don't do this normally. Looks pretty in the cup. Da, 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 da. Might speed up this part. Uh, 
Okay, well, I do think this cup is layered well enough. Definitely. That looks great. Let me show you. Doesn't that look pretty? Okay, it's time to start with the ring pour here. I do see that there are a lot of air bubbles, by the way, in my paint. I don't know if that's going to be great, but yeah, let's start with the ring pour. Well, this is looking like it's not centered. <laughs> I'm not pouring it centered. And I feel like I don't have patience. I do this so fast. Um, and it's gonna get dark. I think. Oh, here's some white. That's great. Almost at the end. You know, we'll just take it. Um, hop. Oh, that looks so, so, so dark. Shall I already spin it a bit? Get it a bit more out. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you see, there are some uh, cells popping up way too much air bubbles but we're gonna wreck this um, yeah uh, all right all right all right i'm just making some simple circles here Some here too. Well, it's wrecked more than once, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Very curious if I spin this, how this is gonna look. Exciting. Here we go. Okay, this is super cool, but I dislike all those cells in this and here there's some clump. So here you see it made some green and some different colors. It's so, so different. I love these colors here. There's 
You see here is the center. Um, I did make the ring pour off center, but this is looking kind of cool. Yeah, here the rect is super cool. Here, hmm, a little bit. Yeah, guys, uh, uh, you know, this is done. I'm going to give you a close up. It's super quick. I felt like this was super quick. Okay, here we go. All right, so here it is. You see here, it made with the yellow and the blue, a little bit of green and also some orange. I really like here those colors. And what the design made with the red drink pour. It's super cool there. I'm not that much of a fan of this white. I think it could be wrecked more. Um, so I might do that still. But overall, for my first, no, it's my second, my second wrecked ring pour ever. You know, yeah, this is a keeper. Let me know if you agree, of course. I'm pretty happy. Um, yeah, and I kind of do like the cells now here. Um, let me bring you up. You see here? The cells are kind of cool. Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna call out another artist for the next Do and Don't challenge. So stay tuned for that and I'll see you next time. Okay, who am I gonna call out for the next Do and Don't challenge? It's gonna be you, Fiona. Please accept my challenge. I would love to challenge you with do's and don'ts. And guys, you probably must know who Fiona is. Fiona, please let me know if you're up for this challenge and I will give you your do's and don'ts in the next video. I think they're gonna be awesome. Okay, well, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.